quit because she realized that they were murdering babies. Yes. That's what she realized. See, they've left you alone now, brother. They don't want to answer your question. Who is Abby Johnson? Why did she leave Planned Parenthood? Why did she leave Planned Parenthood? You're reading it. I'm glad you're reading it. Now get up and go get your baby. Get up and go get your baby. I understand the value of the child. The very, the very, you know, at its core, it's innocent. And we don't know what that child may be. We've been out here talking to this guy 30 minutes, man. It's a reason for it. It's got to be. We've been, we've been going back and forth, back and forth. He's here. He's listening to us. But, man, it's just, uh, it's paralyzing that he's he hasn't moved yet. But he hears us. He's, he hears us. And I think, man, we keep we keep staying at him. We keep sticking at him. He'll, he'll move. But, man, it's just, uh, I can't tell you what we're going to move. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. It's a call. It's a just call. We're Christ sinner, but calls driven to do this, man. And that's why. That's 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 really the main reason. Because the Bible tells us so. And uh, our race depends upon it. Our race depends upon us being out here. We ask that you choose life. We ask that you show mercy. The Bible tells us that the womb is supposed to be the place of mercy, the seat of mercy. The Bible tells us, blessed are the merciful, for they shall inherit the earth. The Bible tells us that if we don't share mercy, if we don't show that compassion, yes. then we at that point have entered into an arena that we're not equipped to handle what comes next. I'm here because I think un unborn lives matter and that a person has a right to live. Uh, I believe that those babies, God have a purpose for their lives and that they have a right to live like everyone else does. The Bible tells us that murder is a sin. You cannot say that abortion is not murder. That is a baby, a living human being breathing. We will not stop until this madness stops. To God be the glory. We don't want to sit here. We're telling you the truth. And we're just wondering what is it going to take for you to get up, to go in there and get your young lady off the table? What is it going to take for you to go in there and to influence her to keep your child? It's not just her child. It's your child. We're here for the purpose of saving the babies. God loves all children. The babies are here for a purpose. He does not allow you to become pregnant. He is the one who will abort a baby if he decides the child is not here. It is not our right to take the life of another human being. And that's why we're here standing on the word of God to save the babies, as many babies as we can. We are here to stand for life, to give hope, in the lives of these women that feel like they don't have any hope. I'm here today to be a voice for those that have no voice. I believe in the sanctity of life, and I also believe that African Americans should have a right to exist. So that's why I'm here, to save babies. Babies of all colors, and um, to also help people get saved as well. To make sure that people are aware that there's a target on the backs of the African American community. I'm here to just be that voice for the baby that can't cry out. Yes. You want right like last Yes, we're the available. Clergy is here. Yes. The clergy understands yes. the representative, representative of God, the God of the Bible, yes. is here. We are expected to go out and bring someone else into the knowledge of truth. you know you have had a successful abortion you know that you have had a successful abortion my god he said because when you pull and you put the instrument on the inside of the womb Tell it. you're just pulling out he said you don't know what you're going to pull out Tell it. at one point you pull out an arm at another point you pull out a finger at another point you pull out a hand and he said the way that you know that you have had a successful abortion is when you see the white liquid come out of the mother's womb. Oh, because when you see the white liquid come out of the mother's oh, womb, God. that means that you have literally crushed the baby's brain. Uh, we come out here because of the cause. The, the cause is to literally to save the lives of the unborn. Um, 
specifically in the African American community, is the, our number one killer. Since 1973, over 17 million plus have been aborted because of this heinous crime, which is what it is, it's a crime. And so we're out here to actually convince them, to let them know that it's affecting our community. We're not actually producing at replacement level, and so we're dying people and we're becoming extinct. And if we are going to truly not subscribe to the Black Matters of movement, but subscribe to just black lives in general, if we're going to subscribe to that, then the black light has to matter initially from the womb. Because if we're not born, then there's nothing else we can do to fight for the African American race. And so we want to get the word out, get the statistics out, get the knowledge out, and then make them understand that the God of the Bible is about life. Because in Christ we live, we move, and we have our being. So that is our cause. I just felt like he wanted me to come back into this fight. And especially after seeing the videos and letting the world know what's going on behind closed doors with babies, destroying the lives of mothers, destroying the lives of dads, grandparents. Uh, it broke my heart. And I've never done this before. I've never stood outside and, you know, protested or anything, but I can't stay away. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that there are people that would actually fight to do these things. So I want to be a voice in the wilderness along with these other beautiful people that are here to try to let people know that there is a choice. There is a their choice and people will stand with you and um, I want to stand with them too. Well, I'm here today because uh, of my bishop. He's teaching us about the crimes or the uh, acts of abortion. And I believe that it's a political strategy to destroy us. 1,874 babies are murdered every single day, yet we stand around and we don't do anything. Well, I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to be here on Saturdays. My wife and I will be here on Saturdays to protest, to uh, speak to the young people that come through here and tell them the truth about abortion that is actually murder. You just got to speak out. You know, they like to say, like to think that we're part of the stones that cry out, that that's talked about in the Bible, and uh, just here to show support for the other people that are here. I um, I do a lot of traveling for my work. I'm not around much, but today just seemed like the day to get involved, and I'm happy to be here. We are expected to go out and bring someone else into the knowledge of truth. We're supposed to bring other people into the kingdom. And so we must enlighten people about what's really going on. And as you know, I appreciate that about the word that we get at our church. Appreciate our bishop and our pastor. But if we just keep it in our vessels and stay within the four walls, then we haven't accomplished what God wants for us to accomplish. He gives us leaders to instruct us so that we in turn can go out and instruct others. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all men. We're out here trying to make disciples and trying to save a life. I'm out here because I believe that the lives of those unborn children and their matter. Not only do they matter to me, but more importantly, they matter to the God of the Bible. David says when he was at war, he says, do we have a cause? We have a cause because the God of the Bible spoke through our leader, but he speaks to us individually. We are dying by the thousands a day, we as a black race, we're being exterminated at the hand of our own doing through abortion. So it's very important that we're out here. We're speaking to these people. We allow God to use us. He has called us for this cause. So we must help contribute to saving the lives of those unborn and children. We're the only voice that they have. Their parents are not speaking on their behalf. They're going in there and exterminating their child. These escorts are not speaking on their behalf. They're getting profits, money, profits as a result of those children being in there murdered day by day. So I'm here because I believe God has called me to do this for such a time as this. And I believe those unborn lives matter and I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on trying to save the lives of the unborn because they matter to the God of the Bible and they matter to me and every one of us standing out here. I don't care if it rains, I don't care what the weather might be, that life is more important no matter what we have to do to save it. Condemnation does take place here. Right. But we're not the condemner. That's mm -hmm. right. These escorts are condemned. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The abortionists are condemned. Yes. Right. I used to work inside. That lady on the inside who takes your name and asks the question the, the age of the baby.
Yes. They are the condemned. Yes. And they don't just condemn to ridicule. They don't just condemn to hurt feelings. The unborn child is condemned by its mother, by its father, by its grandma, granddad, whoever brought the baby. And by all who work here, yes. is condemned to death. Yes. We argue for life. Yes. Right. We fight for life. Yes, right. We scream for life. Life. The very reason we're here is so that the unborn child can live. Right. Yes. So yes, there is a lot of condemning. Condemning takes place, but it's not by us. That's right. It's by you, Mom. Yes. Who come to this wicked place and join these wicked people uh -huh. for a wicked cause to do a wicked thing to kill an unborn innocent child. You men who participate in it, you violate it to the nth degree. What it is to be a father. Yes. You would have been better off to have been sterile. Yes. My God. Than to be able to get a girl pregnant yes, yes, and then yes. to bring her here. My God. What kind of man are you? What kind? What kind? What kind? She would what have kind? been better to have been barren. My God. Than to do this. Yes. yes. Better. Yes. Yes. Condemning goes on. It takes place. But not on our side. Over there. And we mean it. We mean it. Yes. We mean it. Yes. You can make your remarks. You can say what you want. But we're arguing for unborn lives. Yes. You condemners. You condemners. Condemners. Hey, doctor, you got something to say? Come on down here to the line, man. I won't hurt you. Hey, you want to talk to me? Come on down. I'm not going to grab you and pull you over here. We can talk. If you man enough, come on down. You can talk to me about those girls. You can talk. To, you can talk about me to those ladies. Yes, yes. But see, you're a guy. Come on down here. We can talk. He's doing right. Right. Praise God. 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 Yes. There is no holy way to end an innocent 
unborn life. Yes, That's the righteous way to do it. No way. Right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Killing babies. Mm. Buying law. Mm. For convenience. Yes. So they can finish college. Oh, or go to the beach. Mm. Or not get discovered. Or live their life. Mm. Blood money. Mm. My God. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Father. Oh, oh, we pray to you. Yes. The God who said he hates the shedding of innocent blood. Yes. God who said that, that that sin you said in the Old Testament would not be part of it. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you would close this place down. Close it down. We pray, O oh God, that you would touch these mothers yes, and fathers and these people who participate in such a wicked cause. We bind these demons. Bind them in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Oh, God. oh God. We pray that this house mm. is shut down. Shut it down, God. In the name of Jesus. You're able to do it. Able to do it. Able, God. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh, Father. oh, God. We pray no harm to anyone oh, who works here. Oh, we pray that they be saved. Yes, yes Lord. But oh God, oh God, shut this place shut down. Shut this place down. Shut, shut, this place shut down. it down, God. In the name of Jesus. Name. 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 We thank you for this. Thank you. We thank you for a mind to come. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for a mind to fight. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for a mind to pray. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 We pray for every soul yes, who shows up. Thank you, Jesus. To argue yes, for the unborn. Thank you, God. To be a part oh, for those who have no voice. Yes, yes, thank you, Lord. We pray, oh God, thank you, for yes, the workers. Yes, That you would strengthen them. Strengthen them. And God. see them through. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now we praise you. Hallelujah. Love you. Love you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come here, Lord God, knowing that thou art God, and besides you there is none other. We thank you, Father God, most of all, for your presence. We thank you for your anointing, and we thank you, Lord God, for using us as willing vessels. In the name of Jesus, as you use each one of us, Lord, to be a defender for the defendless. In the name of Jesus, for we're here to defend the unborn, because unborn lives matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up our bishop, Lord, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., and First Lady Wooden, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for them being set man. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we touch right now. Each one of us, Lord God. Continue to use us, Lord God. Continue to touch the women on the inside, Lord. Bring realization, Lord, to their minds and their hearts, Lord, that they're doing the wrong thing, Lord. Murder in their unborn. In the name of Jesus. For you said in your word, Lord God, thou shalt not murder. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for saving babies yes. that you've done, Lord God. Thank you for using us, dear God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Oh God, we thank you for the Thank you for your strength. Thank you, God. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you, God. Thank you for your keeping. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, use us. Lord. Yes, 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 Lord.